I just got back from dinner and I have some thoughts. Some slightly tipsy girl thoughts, but overall thoughts and that's all that matters. <laughs> girls thank you and we're gonna on get ready like a facetime call i just got back from dinner one of the most stuff like these the and it was in that moment when i arrived at that restaurant i realized i have avoided this place that i love so much because it's somewhere that my ex and i used to go to a lot but i started to think to myself at dinner like how many places have i avoided or well, i find myself going to the restaurant when i feel like no one is gonna be there and sometimes you don't realize how much a relationship or a breakup affected you until you sit down and you realize how much a relationship and a breakup affected you bro that's deep and just a little backstory so i got into a very like serious relationship at a very 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 young age and it was an extremely codependent relationship if I was gonna give any piece of advice, obviously having been there myself, I know fully well like when you're in your 20s and you're 21, 22, I'm still in my 20s. I know I talk like some aged old woman with a walking stick. It's because I've been through so many experiences in life. People don't even believe my age when I tell them they think I'm way older because I just have so many experiences. Anyways, why is this nose giving Michael Jackson? Anyways, as I was saying, one of the biggest pieces of advice I will ever give is when you're like 21, 22, 20, don't ever get into a serious relationship. It's a waste of your time. And if that relationship or that person will indeed be your husband, if you want one, we're not looking for husbands. I personally, I don't know. That's something that confuses me. Let's go back. Let's go back to what I was saying before I got distracted. Let's go back. I would just say don't get into a very, very serious relationship because it's very easy for you to become codependent at a very young age, especially when the relationship is great. And that's kind of what happened to me. And, and then I realized, ah, I'm avoiding almost everywhere. <laughs> Obviously, like right now, I can go to those places, but for a long time, that paralyzed my movement. And the paralysis of my movement plus the time spent in that relationship is all time I can't get back. So one of the most important things is honestly just learning to live life for you. Oh my god, what's that? Like, people say this all the time. I really do wish I put more effort into like trying to make more friends. I know when you're so engrossed with someone, you think you're gonna get married to the person, you're gonna end up together, whatever. And you just don't bother because you don't even like people anyways. Like, people have a false perception of me being super outgoing. Like, ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm also someone that doesn't like a crowd. I like keeping my personal space very personal. I can live with my family and friends like in like a building and not go out. Go out maybe once a month and I'll honestly be fine. So that means obviously when I was in that relationship, I was like extremely codependent. And I don't I'm not saying like all my problems in life stem from that relationship. Is it like it started, it started from there, it started from the God punishment, God punishment. My point is I was just so unaware. I think that's what being in a relationship like when you're really young I was so unaware that I didn't have that much of a social life I didn't even realize I was this type of a person like I kind of knew I was but because I was so engrossed with one person and just one thing because most of my friends don't live in Nigeria anyways so when they will come it would just kind of be like a, oh you just fit our bubble I didn't make much of an effort to make a lot of friends here baby girl is struggling and I say all this to say those of you that have your friends around you you don't even know what God has done for you. Those of us that don't live around our friends are God's soldiers. You are God's favorite if you live around your friend. Because I just feel like ever since that relationship ended, ever since that happened, I've just kind of been like, you know what? I'll actually be perfectly fine living with my friends. Maybe I'm watching too much Sprinkle Sprinkle. Too much. But I just feel like men are so unreliable. Oh my god men took on reliability personal dating pool right now is so trash and i feel like it's making a lot of girlies i included stay in certain situations that might not be that beneficial to them not necessarily out of fear of being alone or anything like okay maybe not out of the fear of being alone dot 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 instead it's because of daddy issues that we stay a -E. Because if you could find someone good, you could always find someone better. But it's like, where do we, where do we draw the line? Where do we, where do we actually fit? Because we know, okay, 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 guys, let's actually analyze this thing properly. On the one end, is the dating pool is trash. Okay, it's literally scum of the earth, trash. There's nothing. There's no fish in the sea. This she is actually barren at this point. We know that. But the other end of the spectrum is there's always someone better. 
how can there be no fish in the sea and fish in the sea at the same time join together to mean what anyways i'm not crazy it doesn't make sense and i've been trying to make it make sense for the last few months but it's not been making sense anyways i'm not really like focused on dating right now i'm not really focused on any of that quite frankly i'm more focused on my career i just want to make as much money as possible i'm just talking about something that came to my mind and the reason why the whole relationship thing came to my mind was just the genesis of me just not having friends here because i want to live around my friends can't i live by my friends like what is this whole adult situation where we have to book appointments to see each other <gasps> that is wild the other day we had to set up a breakfast call like okay breakfast her time in america because she's in america and i'm just like this is so good and to think that when you were so young we were waiting for this adulthood to come like oh my god i can't wait for adulting to come i should get my gosh actually i've been very concerned about these like lines that are forming on my face to be fair they're not that bad um they look worse because i have some discoloration if you can see i don't be sure if i go and get botox anyways that's even another that issue for another day like just womanhood just like womanhood like just i love being a woman but why the hell is it so ghetto why is it so ghetto why do we have to do all these things all the time man like it's so annoying and like sometimes you really be doing your skincare and your skin don't care but she don't freaking care because okay let me not lie i want to say i've been doing my skincare consistently it's a lie i was i wasn't doing i was doing consistently then i didn't do it consistently and then i now had breakouts so why did the consistency i did before work for that time when i was not consistent if it's not a trap and ploy of capitalism that being said i'm actually looking into medical treatments because i feel like they're high maintenance stuff you do in order to be low maintenance if that makes any sense how did this video literally transcend from dating to high frequency radio radiotherapy treatment or something i have no bloody clue sometimes we just want to rant about the things that we feel like are not going great in our life and that's okay and quite frankly i wanted to call my best friend around but she didn't pick up okay time to re-strategize i think that's the end goal of this video have i even have i made any sense in this video if i made any sense please comment down below because me i don't even know if i've made sense or not but it's time to re-strategize we cannot be doing the same things and expecting results like i just have to become more organized like i have a good work ethic work organization is just my problem and i've come to understand that it's a big problem i'm having a threatening purge right now a breakout my biggest problem is like i would wake up and want to do like 50 billion things talking out my arm out of my bottom i actually like i'm thinking about what i'm saying and i'm hoping you're getting it too do you get it do you get it tell me okay all right cool I, I am growing but not at the pace that i want to and not at the pace that i can mm, 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 mm. i am trying to give myself grace though which is something i've been learning to do because it's not something that i normally do i really don't give myself any grace at all even with the way i kind of stack my tasks and with the way i kind of over over pile it just shows how much grace i don't have on myself because like baby was you, was you really thinking about yourself when you're setting all those appointments so for that reason um organization has become like a big thing for me speaking of so much right i mean everything is so much in nigeria right now oh my god everything is overwhelming i guess the whole point of this rant is life really be happening and i'm just still shocked that i would say to myself that cannot be true that cannot be happening and it really be happening speaking of something that's happening something that i experienced lately never say he can never he can never do that to me baby he already done there <laughs> my man will never your man will never what your man will never what no say it say it to my face i thought so your man will never what something like that he finished doing and he's in yaba collecting treatments he's still doing it and he's planning the future doing if you don't outward connecting nah 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 when i put this hair like this you guys didn't even see me my mustache i was literally looking like budget jewelry Kravitz. actually more like now i'm looking like budget zoe kravitz because i even sprayed water on the hair i was giving black jesus christ if it was female like i don't know like black female jesus or something with my mustache it, i was giving prehistoric i think another reason why i've kind of like been feeling down is because i haven't really like done any of my beauty maintenance routines and stuff which i'm scheduled in for this week but i just had a whole rant on my tiktok because it's like why like sometimes i want to do it i like doing my beauty maintenance routine don't get me wrong like i really i really enjoy the process but it's like why do i have to keep 
doing that every day of every week sometimes it just becomes overwhelming and then i feel like people are just confused like between whether or not they want people who are real or not because constantly i'll get comments about people talking about how my lashes are scattered or um was in the shower oh she's calling back so we're gonna have a gossip session hey how my lashes are scattered or how my hair is undone and i don't really care to the extent that i would change myself for anyone i'm just saying to say to you guys that literally we'll say we want people that are real one people that look like us in real life one people that obviously all these celebrities fake fake da, da, da. and then it's like once someone does that all of you are literally projecting all your insecurities on that person and i'm like i'm comfortable with the way i look sweetie even when i'm done dusted bummy because this face card It ain't never gonna decline. So I'm comfortable. Even when I look bummy, like now, even when I, I'm the one I told you guys I look like budget Zoe Kravitz. No, you didn't have to tell me. My point is when you're online, people would literally constantly point out all these things about you. And it's like, okay. I never knew. I'm so grateful to you for telling me that my lashes are not complete. There's a lot of pressure that comes with being a content creator. Looking good is very important. And... There's just sometimes where you're just down in the dumps and you don't want to be out there but then it's your job and i'm not complaining saying oh i'm not happy and i'm not grateful i'm very happy and i'm very grateful that i get to be able to pursue a, con a career as a content creator in nigeria and still live a very good life but it doesn't stop me from complaining like what the heck why people say that like okay yeah, complaining of course i'm gonna complain i'm allowed to complain like what complaining is literally a form of therapy Okay, let's see if she picks up again. I thought I was gonna remain mysterious and spicy. That's not a fart, I promise. That was just my leg like crouching up onto some leather. That being said, I strive for excellence and excellence only. It's just the execution that I don't think is excellent. So here's my plan. Here's what here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to become more organized. I have noticed that it's not that I can't do the hard work, it's that I don't have the organization it takes to do all the things that I'm doing at the same time, at the same time. Single over to the hills and to the mountain tops. Yeah, I don't have time for time wasting, which means what? Circle back to problem number one. I don't have energy for men right now. Like I just, I can't men right now. Like I just. I can't be bothered to be bothered like <laughs> is it weird like I feel like sometimes I have to like force myself to be bothered I kind of have to like oh my god like right now I'm just if you're if you're not going to elevate me if you're not going to give me something better if it's not going to be extremely beneficial to my life I actually don't mind just chilling like I have room renovations to do I have like trips to plan I have work to do. I'm busy. Matter of fact, I'm trying to find more time. I'm trying to get more 24 hours in a 24 hours. So matter of fact, I don't have time for niggas. I have time for men right now. But I feel like this is the age to actually start getting serious. So again, goes back to that question I brought in the beginning. To be or not to be? They jump together. So which one do we pick? My aunties just told me, like, obviously, as a young woman, like, just don't fall into the pit of, okay, because dating is not great right now, you don't go out. Like, go out, meet people. Obviously, don't take anyone serious until they have proven to you that they are to be taken seriously. But all of these things, easier said than done. Like, do you know the people that I hate the most? People that know how to give so much advice. Show me what the advice you took. Show me. All this advice you are giving, show me the one you took and you put into your life and show me the results. Advice, 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 advice. Where is the result? I beg. How much putting yourself out there can I be? Actually, to be fair, let me stop lying. I'm either at home or out the country. <laughs> so as a result, my dating life is literally non-existent. And I'm kind of happy with that. Loki, she kind of ate with that one. Not kind of, I'm actually happy. Like, except the times where obviously once in a while, you're just like, oh, you know, I wish I had someone to travel with and someone to do cute stuff with and match. But like, beyond that basic, oh, I saw a video that looks cute, swipe up. I don't like go to bed, not sleeping, thinking. I don't even think, I don't even think, man. The only thing I think about is how can I literally make more money? How can I elevate myself? Because I want to go to South France. I want a mini Kelly. I've said my own piece. I've ranted. I feel better. I don't even know if this video is going to make any sense. Oh, look at this freaking spot on my head. Oh my god. 
Okay, I think I need to go to bed now. Good night. Big fat juicy kiss. Mm.